welcome back to Road to Grandmaster, the series where we aim to complete all of the combat achievements with quite limited gear on the Iron Man account. Now first things first, I know it's been a month since the previous episode, I have been insanely busy with university stuff and I barely had time to even log on to the game, I'm sure you guys understand. In the previous episode we finally completed the master tier, leaving only the grand master tier left until we are done. Episode 25, let's go. Hey, beautiful blood shard, finally. 4000 and that is the first kill from the melee ones on the log. Beautiful, 10,000 more charges. Should be good for a long time now. Oh shit, blood shard. I am so good on blood fury charges, I'm not gonna have to worry about them for a long time. Always here when I'm editing episodes, so yeah, I think this is very sustainable for my blood fury usage. For Sani's nightmare, I am missing one task, being a 7 minute 30 speed run. Now most people do this task with a sight of vitter, honestly it makes it so much easier. It is somewhat possible with a bludgeon but you need to get insanely lucky to get enough DPS to get a 7 minute 30 kill. This is a task I have been working towards for a long time now, this is pretty much just a massive RNG test. Holy shit, what? 8 minutes and 8! I am sorry, what? That's a huge fucking improvement. That's like a 50 second improvement. That's 38 seconds from the Grandmaster time, which I have said to be impossible with the gear I have. What the fuck? That's such a huge personal best. Wow. I'm so confused. I mean, that felt like a fast kill, but even on the last phase I could easily save like, I don't know, 8 seconds? I could get a sub 8 minute with a bludgeon. Holy shit. That's actually insanely fast with the setup. Jesus. Well, 96kc. I am just mainly doing this if I don't know what else to do in the game. CBA doing a chat speedrun or CM speedrun at the moment. I am so tired of those. I just want to do some Fosani, hopefully get some drops. But holy shit, that's a huge time. It's the Torval X, man. The max hits are coming in big time. What the hell is going on? The next kill, 8 minutes and 10. That is, that is so weird. How am I getting such fast kills now? Last one, I like on this one I didn't even have full dragon claw thingies. I think I'm just gonna bring death charge to get a couple more specs in the fight. And also a crystal halberd to finish the uh, sleepwalkers one tick faster. Honestly, fuck it, let's just see how fast we can actually kill this. Since that is weird to get back to back like super fast kills. We'll see how the uh, next one goes. Well, about time I actually go dry somewhere. 100 KC at Fosani and we have seen nothing. Absolutely nothing from either of the Nightmare bosses. 13 normal KC, 100 Fosani. And not even the tablet being 1 in 100. This would make this grind so much easier. But basically anything, any of these would be super nice. I think the Inquisitor pieces and the mace obviously would be the best. But yeah, the tablet, come on, I just need this one. 8 minutes and 36, I am trying to go as fast as I can. This one was a un very unlucky kill. But I think bringing the death charge definitely makes a difference. So on the 808, I did not use it. I think if I did, I could save possibly, I guess, like 10 seconds or something like that. So I'll, I'll honestly just test this out, see how fast I can do this. We'll see. Man, man, not even a new PB. I am, I don't even know. I feel like I played that really well. Jad was horrible, but still, that's so far from the time. I don't understand. Uh, not lucky. I'm so confused, dude. 29 minutes. This, th this speedrun is gonna be rough, I can already tell. I feel like I was running around pretty well and constantly attacking something, but... Somehow I am way too slow. Well, I guess I just have to get better at the game. I... I don't know. I got a bit tilted from the speedrun. It's time to do some just regular chill TOB. And of course, 
I am using the best in slot helmet. I am bringing the Slayer helmet to Theater of Blood. Even though this is not good in any way at the OB, I don't care. I want to use this because it looks fucking good. <gasps> 100 Theater of Blood. <coughs> Let's see, do we get a purple? Oh shit! Don's got a purple? Good luck, man. I'm feeling a scythe. Come on, dude. 100 KC. I'm FFA. Have to be honest with the boys. I am always FFA. A Vernick? Oh my. I would have loved that. I mean, I played this raid really bad, so definitely cannot complain one bit. That's fine. A Vernick for dance. Epic. Alright, there we go. Finally one task done. I had to skip nine tasks just to get this, and my inventory is way too full. I'm gonna have to come back for my uh, cannon. But yeah, the reason I had to actually get some Slayer points is for the final Kriar task. I definitely need a Slayer task for the final 30 kill trip. Kind of a stupid thing to do, since I did get full Armadale as a hardcore man a couple of years back. But now I am gonna have to get Aviancies as a task for the second time just for my final God Wars CA task. Whatever, 80 points, let's do it. And now I'm just gonna use Durdle to get either AVNC or Suck slash Chad Slayer tasks. Those are the only two that matter, and then I'm just gonna Turtle skip the rest. Steel Dragons? Fuck no. Oh, thank god. AVNCs, 191 of them. This should be enough to finish the last God Wars task. A 30 kill Kriara trip, if I remember remember correctly. Yes, 30 kills. I'm gonna do this tomorrow. Honestly, even with red jeans, I think this should be doable. 30 kills, 120 KC inside the room. I definitely have done this before, so just bring a good amount of supplies and I guess prayer flick if needed. Not too scared about this task. Let's go and get it done. Alright, come on ACB. Let's do this. Spec for the last hit. And that should be it, I think. <coughs> Feather Hunter Grandmaster task complete. And also, the entirety of God Wars dungeon is now complete. Every combat achievement in inside this place. Except for the duo next, I guess. But yeah, I'm gonna have to do that soon. It honestly is not gonna be a problem. It just might be take a couple of tries since I don't have the Sarite crossbow or a twisted bow. Honestly, that is not gonna be difficult. This task was not difficult at all as well. Really easy. But yeah, that's nice. 39 tasks from completion. I had a lot of supplies left. Like, 30 kill trip is not bad at all. I still have almost four and a half restores and two entire breeze and a lot of food and one whole range potion. Not a bad task in any way. But yeah, no point in me continuing. I already have the full armor set. I doubt I will ever go back to this boss on this account. But yeah, I suppose I'm gonna have to go back to challenge mode raids. Man, first decent raid in a long time. 41.52 new personal best, but Olm was so slow. 12 minutes, I just got incredibly unlucky. But yeah, the problem is the rooms, man. Even though I play well, like, just look at the times. One mistake I did, I was a stupid death on Mystics, that's one minute saved, but like, even without that, was out three minutes muted all, was actually pretty good. Vespula, three minutes, the rooms are insanely slow. A three minute Vespula, that's so bad. Ah, uh, this task is going to be rough, I can already tell. Next up, I got some of the talented gamers from Retro CA to join me on some challenge mode raids. The team speedruns are way more difficult on the challenge modes compared to the regular times. And while we easily one-shot the regular times a few episodes ago, the CM ones took a lot of resets and a couple of attempts. Basically, if you're struggling to find a team to do your team tasks with, these guys definitely know what they're doing. I will drop their link in the description, so make sure you check them out if you're interested. Wow, we need to Yes, we have 30 seconds. 
the propping thing kind of. Yeah, yeah, bit. definitely. My bad. Maybe 13 seconds. Sure. Yeah. Oh my god, getting hit so you much. Go, you go free for all right for uh, purples? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Holy shit. Huh? Ooh. Dust bells. Did you oh, need that? No, not really, but... Uh, oh, dust. Holy bruh. shit. Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> well, thank God that's done. That's all of the chambers theme tasks now complete for me. All right, so I'm pretty sick at the moment, as you can probably hear from the voice, which may be the reason I didn't sound very excited with that task, but that is a huge task to get done. If we go take a look at the chamber of Zerik, the normal one, all complete and on the challenge mode, one single task remains, which is the uh, solo speedrun. Now this task is, honestly, this is horrible without a twisted bow or a scythe. Rooms l like the Ice Demon or Vasa or Tekton alone are such brick walls with budget gear. This is gonna require an, just a very clean, good RNG run. Solo CM can be one of the most infuriating things you can do in RuneScape. From my experience, I am not the biggest fan. But thank god that is all of the uh, theme ones done. But yeah, that means we are 40 tasks away from completion. Just a mere 40 tasks. Hard mode, theater of blood. Now, I've only done a single hard mode run across all my accounts, and finding a team who is willing to take a no scythe can be very difficult. So I just got a couple of friends from my clan to join me to try to tackle some of the easier tasks. And these ended up being way more of a challenge than I thought these would be. There we go, finally this should be the task done. There we go, Grandmaster task, stop right there. Definitely the easiest hard mode TOB task. But yeah, took us a lot of tries, we definitely had to come up with a proper strategy for this, and yeah, just stupid mistakes. If you stand on a blood tile once, it's basically the task over. But yeah, glad. Got the first one done, next up is bloat. This one is gonna be a bit more rough. A very, very good run. 39.43, that's like a nearly two minute improvement, that's a huge new PB. That could have been the run, oh, incredibly slow on the P3, three minutes. Damn, phase one was, phase one was pretty slow, phase two, really good. Phase three, nearly a minute too slow, I fucked up on the third one. Oh, that's just sad, and Olm head face, a very disgusting two minutes as well. I just need to get lucky in every room. Damn. Well, first sub 40, I guess, 39.42. That's pretty nice, dude. Man, this one is just fucking sad. One second of a BB, but I had even much, much better time into Olm. 27, 52. With some pretty slow rooms as well, but my second floor was incredibly good. Rope skip successful, a 1 minute 28 Vespula is by, by far a new PB. 3 minute Vanguard is insanely good as well. Man, I hate this task so fucking much. Right, so the first attempt of the two chats, I am gonna try to go for one of the most annoying tasks in the entire game. You probably already know which one I'm talking about. No time for a drink. Complete the fight caves without losing any prayer points. I think a big shout out to Tasty's video for he explains the prayer mechanics a lot better than I am going to in this video. Basically, in short, this 99 is not just 99. This is 99.9. .9. And so I have, I have basically room for a couple of mistakes where I have the prayer on for longer than one tick. But basically the way I need to do this task is never to have my prayer on for more than one tick at a time. So I think my method is just gonna be fucking wing it, try my best, rather play it safe and just take the damage. I have so much feud in my inventory, so this is probably gonna take 
at least 40 minutes to get this cape, but that doesn't matter. I just cannot waste one single prayer point. Let's see how this goes. No, Vito. Well, what the hell? This task was piss easy. I have no idea how or why I didn't complete this before. That was probably one of the easiest Grandmaster tasks in the entire game. Sucks that we failed the initial no prayer run. But at least the whole task did not go to waste. We got one of the Grandmaster tasks done. But yeah, that was super easy. Just lure Jad tag healers, kill them, and that's it. Easy as that. But yeah, now for Chad, only two tasks remaining. I'm gonna use the second Chad kill to try again for the no prayer one. And then it's just the uh, speed run left, and this is gonna cause a lot of trouble with no Tebo, I can already tell. Maybe lucky, let's see. Never lucky. We try again tomorrow, all good. Oh my god. I'm so dumb. <sighs> I didn't pay an I didn't pay enough attention to what the spawns. Instantly lost the prayer point to a fucking bat. Yeah, no point in even trying. Rip to the task. Alright, we have made it to Jad with not using a single prayer point. Jad is gonna be rough though. So far so far what I've been doing with this mages is pretty much I tank the first hit and then just do lazy flicking. Just to make sure I don't make any mistakes. But yeah, with Jad. It's gonna be a bit more rough than the normal mages. Uh... Oh my god. Oh, that is such a relief, dude. Oh my god, okay, that was so intense. My heart is pounding. Whew, I am not that experienced with the fight games like in total in the game, so I just knew that once Jad attack shows, you have to wait two ticks every time. Oh my god, okay. <clears throat> that feeling was basically the same as going for my first fire cave. My hands are so sweaty. Oh my god, thank god that task is done. Now for Jad, we only have the speedrun remaining. This is gonna be tough, but now I have black chins and I think I just need to... I just I just need to squeeze in like the last two minutes. This might take a lot of attempts considering this is another task that's gonna be difficult with no twisted bow. But everything else is complete. Thank goodness. That task is annoying, I am never doing that again. <laughs> Or I'm gonna end the episode there. Sorry again, this one took such a long time to put out, but the next one I will try my best to release sooner than a month from now. But yeah, press all the funny buttons, subscribe, like the video, and also join my clan. We still have a lot of active people, even though I haven't had much time to uh, play recently. You love to see it. Join the clan if you're interested, and uh, yeah, that's about it. I will see you on the next episode. Hopefully soon. Take care, boys. See ya.